here is the latest update concerning Ella Goody. This article was written April 19th, and it reads, uh, Lake um, Charles. Authorities have wrapped up a two-day search of an area off I-10. Multiple agencies were in the area near US-165 looking for clues in the disappearance of missing Scott woman Ella Goody. State Trooper Derek Senegal said the last known coordinates from a cell phone led officials to the search area for Goody. Police say a man jailed in Rapids Parish in another case, Brandon Germain Francisco, is believed to be the last person to see Goody alive. Brandon Francisco is the guy that Goody was driving to Houston and she was never seen again. I want to talk about Brandon Francisco and how he ended up in jail. Now, Brandon Francisco, as we all know, the last known guy with Ella Goody before she went missing. The day that Ella Goody went missing was the same day that Brandon was supposed to be in court for a 2018 shooting. Because Brandon did not show up, they issued a warrant for his arrest and also knowing that he was the last known person to be seen with Ella and that is what they're holding him on right now. So Brandon Francisco and another man were arrested by the Grand Rapids um, Sheriff's Office in December of 2018 on charges related to a shooting that happened on U.S. Highways 71 on New Year's Eve. According to the Sheriff's Office, the victim and a passenger had pulled behind a black Dodge Charger parked on the shoulder of US-71 on Christmas Eve on 2018. As the victim walked to the Charger, someone began firing a gun. The passenger ran while the victim was found in a nearby ditch. The victim's car was found um, by an off-duty deputy on Munson Road, which is between Meeker and Shinaville. Francisco, 36, later was formally charged with attempted second-degree murder, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, criminal conspiracy, and conspiracy to commit second-degree murder, all felonies. He eventually was released from jail, and his case went back and forth for several years. A trial date was set for February 7th, but he did not appear. Okay, so it was set for February 7th, but they arrested him the day that she went missing. Okay, that's not super clear to me, but I'm going to keep reading. Francisco was allegedly under a doctor's uh, order to quarantine. She asked for a continuance, but that was denied. Francisco had not tested positive and knew about the court date, according to the online record. 